Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I'm going to do a little bit of colouring with my Distress um, Oxide Sprays on some of my cheesecloth. Now this is for the um, little Daisy journal that I'm making at the moment. Now the colours which I've picked, sorry I've got my gloves on so I don't get covered in um, spray. I've got the Shabby Shutters, I've got Bundled Sage, I have Crushed Olive, I have Wild Honey which is a beautiful sort of like orangey colour, um, Mustard Seed, um, Scattered Straw and I've also got Gathered Twig in case I want a little bit of brown. So they're the sort of colours that I want. I've got my little bottle of water here and I've got some different cheesecloth. Now I do apologise about the reflection in my glass mat. Um, I've got this cheesecloth here and then this one. Now this grade is 90 um, I, but it doesn't say what this one is. Um, so this is a, a 90 grade one, weave or whatever you call it. So all that I'm going to do, I'm just going to wet them first so they're nice and wet. Um, so I, th I find that if you wet them first they sort of like soak up the um, colour a little bit better and a little bit quicker as well. So I'm just doing sort of like little sections of it because I don't want a huge amount in this colour. So let's just wet them. Any little bit of water will do. Um, of course you don't have to have cheesecloth. You could have little bits of cotton fabric if you want to as well. Um, whatever you have to hand. And again it's the same principle um, if you wanted to do some seam binding as well. But I'm not going to use seam binding because I want to use up some of my... Um, lace not lace some of my ribbon that i have i've got a great big box of ribbon which i don't really use so i thought it's about time i got it out and started using it so as much as i love my seam binding um, i do need to use up a few different things so let's get these sort of like wet a little bit and before we start making a mess so these are pretty much wet aren't they so let's do these two pieces first pop those to the side it's nice and wet on here I'm going to do a tiny maybe we should start with the lighter colors um, I'm just going to just spray on there so we've got some nice yellow a little bit more water like that rub it up rub it around and then just rub it in your hands and it, that just sort of like disperses the color lovely now with the distress oxide sprays it will give it sort of like uh, a chalky look it's not going to give you a nice bright look it's going to give you that nice sort of chalky look um, what you're after so there we go that's the yellow so I'm going to pop that to the side I don't mind that there's a little bit of yellow on here so that one I did with um, scattered straw so let's go for a little bit of green so this is crushed olive now I don't think we need to have a huge amount of this because I think that might be quite dark oh look at that very bright actually So these are nice. I did take a little bit of the green ribbon, the organza ribbon, which is here. Gosh, that almost looks fluorescent to me. Wow. So this is the colour of the ribbon in there. Okay, so this is way, way too bright for me to use in the journal, I believe. I'm going to take a little bit of the brown. I'm going to just spray it on here, a little bit of water and then dip it in like that. Just roll it around, just make a nice mess. There we go, that's a little bit better isn't it? There we go, I do prefer that colour to the other one. Look at that, perfect more of sort of a brownie a brownier color but 
we will get some green in a minute. I think that one, which one do we use? Crushed olive, I think that's a little bit too vibrant for what I would like. Anyway, I'm going to leave this on my hands and we're going to use some of this. Let's just soak up. This one is Shabby Shutter. See if we can get a little bit more of a green in here. Let's just roll these together. Now I think what I'm going to have to do is get a little bit of tissue. And I'm going to just mop this up like that. Now these won't go to waste. These will go on to doing some um, collage work or something. Let's go for a little bit. This is bundled sage. We need a little bit more green, don't we? Oh, that's better. That's a little bit better. A little bit of water in there. And let's see if we can get a little bit more of green in there. Oops. Roll it round. Oh, there we go. Lovely. That's nice. Oh, I like this um, cheesecloth. That's a nice cheesecloth. It feels nice as well. So that's nice. So we've got a lovely yellow. We've got these colours so far. I'm going to pop that to the side and do some more. What should we go for? Should we go for the mustard seed? I'm going to just do it differently. I'm going to spray this. Wow! I have a feeling that's going to be a little bit too too yellow. I've popped in some bundled sage in there. Let's have a little mix about and see what we come up with. Mix it around. It's all experimenting, isn't it? So look, gosh, these are so vibrant, aren't they? That's way too yellow for me. So let's just take this off. I could probably use this in the journal, actually. Shall I see if I can? Let's just mop up some, pop that to the side. I'm going to add a little bit of water little bit of shabby shutter just to sort of like bring it down a little bit and I'm going to take a piece of this and soak up some of that colour like that there we go look at that I wonder if that maybe I'll leave that I wonder if that will dry see how that's taken in the yellow I wonder if that will dry a little bit lighter. Shall we see? Oh gosh, that's very yellow, isn't it? Now, let's try some orange. This is wild honey. Mix a little bit of water. Oopsie daisy. Mix a little bit of water in there. Let's see. That's quite nice, isn't it? That's a lovely yellow. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. We've got one more piece and I want this one to be orange, orange. Unless I need to add a little bit of brown to bring it. A little bit of water in there. Because I think, look at that, that's very orange, isn't it? Let's mix that up. Hmm, a little bit too um, bright, I think. A little bit of brown. Don't um, be afraid to experiment because you never know what you're going to get. Mix up some lovely colours. If they're in the sort of same colour palette, you should be okay. You wouldn't end up with a big mess. Now, I like that one as well, actually. Let's soak up some of that. Lovely. 
Right, let's get rid of some of this on here. Like this. Wipe it off with my gloves. Look at that, we've got a nice piece of tissue there which we can use. Right, I'm going to show you what we've come up with. We have got this beautiful orangey brown. We have a beautiful green. Now, I'm liking that. Let me pop them in little bundles. This is a brighter one. We have this one. And then these, which are the thinner um, cheesecloth. So there we go. I think these will look quite nice in our journal. Now, that's the green from the um, piece of organza ribbon so I think these will go really well and that was sort of like the brown piece so I think they will look really nice in there so there we go guys all I've used is the distress oxide sprays a little bit of water and some cheesecloth and there we go I will leave those to dry and then I can make some little bits and pieces um, to go in the journal so there we are guys, thank you so so much for joining me, please stay safe, take care and I will see you soon.